Hello everyone, and welcome to Slice Print Roleplay. In this episode, we're going to be talking about layer heights, specifically the relationship between how fast a model prints and how much detail it has. Alright, let's get into it. So real quick, the model I'll be using in this video is the Arachni Spitter from Blue Wyvern. It's a really cool model, part of a great set, but this model is currently free as a preview, and I definitely recommend you pick it up. You can find links for this model and the rest of the set down below. So I'll be using Cura to highlight what I'm talking about, but this information is applicable to both resin printing and FDM. The only difference is really the size of the layers. Typically you're going to go much smaller with a resin printer than you will with an FDM printer. Alright, so let's get into this. Right now, if I go over to preview, I have this model sliced into a 0.2 millimeter layer height. And what that means is there are 248 individual pieces or individual slices. If you think of it kind of like a loaf of bread standing on end, that's more or less what's going on here. So it's being sliced into different pieces that all come together to make the loaf, I guess. So if I uh, scroll down here in the layer view, you can see how each layer starts to build up on the previous layer, and now normally we would be using supports here, but I'm not uh, putting supports in just because it's easier to see what I'm talking about. So just keep that in mind. Normally this would definitely need supports. But if I go down to the bottom view, you can see this is layer one, and as I move up to layer two, layer three, you can see that the model's being built layer by layer. And if I hold the up arrow, you can see that this is exactly how the printer is going to build this model. Each layer laying on the previous one until it gets to the top layer. So. This doesn't look bad. Uh, point two is kind of um, a thicker layer. This is what you would use um, for something like a, maybe a house or other terrain or maybe a very large monster that you wanted to um, have decent detail but not take forever to print. Because the thing is that this model currently being sliced at point two is going to have 248 layers and without supports and you know we'll do the, the same way, we'll slice this model the same way without supports each time. but. The way that it's currently set, it's going to take 4 hours and 17 minutes. So let's see what happens when we cut that layer height in half. Okay, so now our total layer count is 496, and it's going to take 7 hours and 15 minutes. And the reason that a smaller layer takes longer is because you have more of them. Obviously, you can see that our total layer count has jumped up significantly. So if I do that same thing, if I now go down and move all the way down to the first layer and now I start going up again so here's layer two three four you can see that these layers are so much smaller and that each time I move up the amount of the model that gets filled in is significantly less than what we were originally looking at and then if I hold up again you can see how it's growing much slower this time with a good bit more detail so this gives you an idea of how thinner layers provide more detail because if I zoom in here and we do that same thing again you can see how on the top of his uh, his armor plated leg here, you can see that there's a nice amount of detail here. It has a nice slope. Nothing's a really harsh angle because there's enough small layers that you can have a nice topography where it's gentle slopes that create these really fine details. But again, if we go back to the original layer height that was much thicker, so right away you can see with these layers being twice the thickness, that nice detailed topography is kind of broken up now where these curves are a lot more aggressive because there's just not as much room to retain that fine detail because there's a lot thicker layers in here. But I wanted to explain what layer heights were, what, you know, uh, an increase in layer height will decrease time and vice versa. And that that's a confusing concept it was for me when I first started and I wanted to make sure that I gave a visual representation of, of what that means so that you could see it back to back. So here's 0.2, and again, this is what on an FDM printer, I normally print really large creatures or like buildings and things like that, because it'll give you okay detail, but pretty good printing speed. Now here's 0.1. This is what I would choose if I'm willing to let the model print a bit longer, but get better detail from it. Now here's 0.05. It's pretty much the standard height when you're printing with resin, and it's what I use with all my resin printers. And finally, here's 0.02. This would be considered getting into the high detail category when it comes to resin printing. Typically, most people don't print this fine, but I wanted to show you just so you can see the difference. All right, so hopefully that makes sense as to why the layer height you choose directly affects how much detail a model will have and how long it will take to print. As always, if you found the video helpful, please like and subscribe. It really is one of the best ways you can help the channel. And if you like the work that I'm doing here and you want to help the channel out even more, you can look for my Patreon link down below. So now that you know all about layer heights, let's go print something. <laughs> 